An old white man is shown here teaching a black kid rhythm. The old white guy? Well, that's Mr. Holland, and this is Mr. Holland's opus. And welcome to my video essay on the great movie directed by Frank Darabont, the famous director who gave us Shawshank Redemption and the Green Mile, and this. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's start at the start. It's the first day of school, and Holland is sleepy. But he simply must get up because he's the new music teacher at school. I'm Glenn Holland. I'm the new music teacher. Now let's take a look at this early scene. Directors, they really know how to make a sweet movie and that you need drama and conflict and problems. Who would like to give me a definition of what music is? You know, his, his students have absolutely no idea what music is. And that's a problem. Nobody? I think this is going to be a lot rougher gig than I originally thought. But here's the thing. It ain't just about the music. It's also about Mr. Holland's personal life. And I think, I think maybe you and I should find some time to work on an individual basis. That would, that would be great. And this time, not so much lip on the mouthpiece. While he flirts with his students at school, there's bad news at home. I'm pregnant. This puts a serious damper on Holland's plan of dumping his wife once he found someone younger and hotter, possibly a student. And to make matters worse, in a sick twist of fate, Holland's son is defective. His ears don't work. While trying desperately to connect with his father, he pretends to be a composer, which he thinks his dad will like. But when the deaf boy can't hear that the song is over, Holland isn't exactly pleased. Let's watch. Now, this is the moment Holland realizes he'll never love his son. Just tolerate him. For if he can't tell the song is over, what good is he? Is this a problem? Is this a problem? Yes, I think so. I want to take a moment here to discuss the brilliant use of drama in this movie. I know this is going to bother some of you, but I think we have to consider cutting the senior class play altogether this Everybody knows Holland loves music. Great. But that don't exactly make a whole movie. There needs to be other stuff that happens where people yell and fight. Whoa, 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 slow down. Slow down, you're going like a rocket. Holland refuses to learn sign language to talk to his son, which was a great idea for the story because it causes a lot of take problems. Take this stuff outside. It stinks. And eventually leads to this dramatic scene. You care more about teaching other people than you do about me. What does this mean? It's not good. That means asshole. But the biggest drama of all? Well, her name is Rowena. And she's a stunning singer. Holland falls in love. And chooses her to star in the final play. I'm a little lamb who's lost in the world. His smile here hints at sexual arousal and her lusty singing reciprocates. It's as if his wife never existed. It's been a common theme in his life. Family does not come first. Bus leaves from downtown at midnight. I'll be on it. You could come with me. The moment of truth. Holland has been waiting his whole life to ditch his deadweight family and move to New York with a hot young singer. Now he's got his chance. Your move, Teach. He kisses her with a lifetime supply of bottled passion and regret. Whatever he chooses to do in the end, with this kiss, he's proven that he could have her if he wanted. Even though he was a jerk his whole life, in the final scene, the school rallies together to give Holland a touching retirement send-off. They all stand up and cheer as if he's a kind-hearted legend. Why? Well, because it needs to have an inspirational ending. His students? Well, they might not have known what music was at the beginning, but at the end, they do. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. It's something I always remembered about your class, Mr. Holland. You have this very highly developed sense of humor. Thank you. <laughs>